it's Melty Chocolate Moon here and I got another video for you in this video I'll talk about pretty much everything that comes to my mind because I've gotten a lot of questions lately and they're pretty much the same questions that I answer all the time and yeah I just want to remind you I'm new to YouTube this is like my third or fourth video I'm a new youtuber I'm not into this community I'm not that used to this I actually just film edit it and then I put it up and hope for the best um, I'm not so good at this I'm really a noob so please be nice to me a lot of people have been asking me how to get into the J fashion community and the thing is that I'm not that into the community here. I live in a really small village with 12,000 people and I'm not friends with anyone. All of my friends that are that I know and I hang out with, they're from Stockholm. And the closest people to here is Gothenburg. Um, I don't know them that well, so we don't hang out and we don't talk that much. Maybe it's because I'm so awkward. I'm not that into manga and anime anymore so I don't have so much in common with people you see this here that's pink and this fella here <laughs> that is pretty much what I'm interested in I like J fashion I like cute and pink stuff surely I like video games and stuff like that as well I like really old video games and it's just a feeling it's not something I can actually share with anyone I live quite far away from my friends so I have to travel about five to six hours to meet them so I can't hang out with my friends that often because they, they live quite far away or more I live far away but that's how life is <laughs> so when I meet my friends and when I get into the community and hang out with people it's through events and other stuff so it's that's basically it if you want to get in contact with a J fashion community, you have to do it yourself. You have to go through Facebook and look for the groups that are closest to you. Like I live in Sweden, so here in Sweden we have a couple of uh, groups on Facebook. We have Göteborg Lolitas, uh, Skånska Lolitor, Jönköping Lolita. We have a lot of groups. I don't know if that's the exact names of the groups, but you, you get what it's about. It's about the town and then the word Lolita. There are also groups that I've made that's called J Fashion Sverige. And uh, it's for, and it's basically for people who like J Fashion, not just Lolita, any fashion at all. And it's a group where you can talk about things and you can post your outfits and such and I think it's a great thing to have actually I mean if you don't have a group near you just create one do it yourself you have to stick yourself out there to get in contact with people that you want to be friends with you can't just sit and wait for someone to pick you up because they won't know it you have to look for people to hang out with and that's the same and that's the thing I should say to myself but I like being alone. He's my new boyfriend. I'm just kidding, Jesus Christ. A lot of people have been asking me how to get into J fashion. And it's really simple. Let's say some people are really into normal fashion. What do they do to get into that fashion and to know what's coming out and what's getting popular? This is what gets me really annoyed actually because it's just the same. To get into fashion you have to get inspiration and inspiration where do you get it from? You need inspiration to do everything. You have to create stuff yourself, you have to mix up stuff yourself and to find inspiration you have to find it from other people or from other things. Follow people that are beauty bloggers or fashion bloggers. Follow people who have interesting styles to you. Follow shops and stores, like the big name brands of the style that you like. And third, follow artists, just people that create stuff, because they give a lot of inspiration. Believe me, I follow a handful of people. The easiest way to find people that are into J fashion that are actually really cool or really wow, it's through Instagram, if you ask me. Go to my Instagram, look at the people that I'm following, 
those are the people that I find my inspiration. I only follow people that I find interesting and that would actually make me happy and positive. Don't follow people if they make you feel uncomfortable. If you have friends that you really like and they're super nice and they're so beautiful, they're so cute and they do a lot of cute stuff but they post a lot of stuff that actually makes you feel uncomfortable or sad or something like that then don't follow them you're not obligated to follow your friends just do whatever you want to do just unfollow them and tell them i'm sorry but you post a lot of stuff that makes me a bit uncomfortable it's not that i'm having anything against you it's just i'm thinking about my well-being and that's totally okay you should always think about what makes you comfortable and what makes you happy because that's really important and another thing that I want to talk about is when people just bluntly ask me where do you get your clothes where do you get your makeup where do you buy this where do you buy that where do you get your clothes that where's the dress from you know what I'll tell you I'll tell you I'll tell you how to find it, but do you know what I love? Do you want to know what I love? Hashtags. Yeah, you heard it. Hashtags. A lot of people use hashtags because it's easy to find stuff. It's not just a statement like, I'm so cool, I'm doing this. No, it's a way to find the people. I want to get inspired and look into Laura McKay a little bit. So, what will I do? I'll just look for hashtag Larmy K and then I'll find a lot of people using that hashtag to show that to show people this is what I'm wearing this is what it's called just look at the hashtag I mean within Lolita some people even tag the name of the dress the specific dress even the, what type of the dress is because sometimes people are like oh I'm wearing sugar hearts from Angela Pretty and it's a uh, Jay's K okay what will that person hashtag the person will hashtag hashtag Angela Pretty and then another one hashtag sugar hearts JSK that is the specific dress the specific cut even Come on, it's easy. If the person doesn't hashtag what it is, then you can ask. The other thing you can do is go away from the picture and look through the, pe the person's history of pictures and see if that person is wearing that specific necklace again. If that person uses that specific necklace again, they might hashtag it like this necklace. It's from Creepsville 666 and I've gotten so many questions about it and I usually hashtag it like through all of my pictures. If I don't, then I'll answer. But please at least look through the people's pictures before asking them something. Yeah, and another thing, makeup. I usually hashtag what kind of makeup I use as well. And if you don't know how to use makeup then there are tutorials online i've made one tutorial that's up now and i use a lot of brands that i usually hashtag so go look through that and, and another thing i have to say is that it's really really tiresome to get the same questions all over again it's it gets a bit tiresome i'm being honest yay my camera died anyway so about that part i just wanted to say that if you want something you have to look for it you have to fight for it you have to actually learn oh yeah i want to tell you about the events i'm going to i'm going to be at japan loppisen in stockholm it's gonna be so great you really should go like it's gonna be so huge it's gonna be so nice and i can't wait to be there i'm gonna meet all my friends and it's gonna be just so cool oh, i miss this so much <laughs> so i hope i'll see you there and i'm going to be at kodachikon down in lund i'm also going to confusion so and it's in gothenburg it's really close to me so 
I feel really comfortable with it and I'm probably gonna have a lot of friends that are sleeping over at my place for the first time and I feel so amazed because they're gonna see my apartment and everything that I've done they will be able to use all of my Rilakkuma kitchen cutlery ho 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 and I'm going to Narcon this summer and it's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna be about 8,000 people going. So that's quite a lot. It's the biggest convention in Sweden. So if you're looking for a convention to go to and you want to meet people like me or you want to meet my friends, they're also into J fashion, you just have to go to Narcon. Yeah, and another thing, I'm going to have my first YouTube giveaway, yay! And the things I'm gonna give away are super cute and super pretty. I hope you like them. I've made all of it myself and everyone can be a part of it. Everyone in the world can join. And this giveaway is gonna be through my YouTube and my Instagram and my Facebook and my Tumblr and everybody can join. First, you have to follow me on various medias like Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And the second part is that I want you to tag three friends so three people can join in as well. And the third, I want you to tell me why you want it and how it would fit your style. So I'm gonna have two packages. One is gonna be light, like pastel, cute, and innocent, and sweet. And the other part is going to be dark, hardcore, and a bold statement package. You'll see what I'm talking about. So now I'm gonna show you the first parts of the things that you can win. And the first thing that you can win is a Barbie Babe Queen pin. Yay! And the second thing that you can win is a winged crystal brooch pin and the third thing that you can win is a pin and the fourth thing you can win is actually something totally new a handmade pearl necklace with a heart that's just super sparkly and super cute and it's actually the same that I'm wearing right now so this is how it looks when it's on I think it's super pretty and it's really nice and I love it so much and I hope that the lucky winner of the light package will be happy as well and now the pastel goth package and the first thing that you can win is a oppai pin to show what you're into the second thing that you can win in the pastel goth package is a hentai pin! Another perfect way for you to express yourself. And the third thing you can win in this pastel goth package a velvet choker made by me! And the fourth thing that you can win that's actually really huge and I actually promised myself that I would never actually give these things away and actually and actually and actually I'm doing it now. A Ouija board that I've made myself. And here you can see it, it's very sparkly, it's very shiny and it has a really nice shine to it as well in silver and this is actually the thing that's worth the most in this package and I hopefully you like it. It takes quite a while for me to do them. Those are the two packages in my giveaway. Hopefully you like them and I'm going to write down how to find them and I'm going to link the specific posts in all of the different social medias that you're supposed to share and tag your friends in. And hopefully I'll get a lot of people to find me and yeah, <laughs> hope you like it. If you want me to make more videos and want me to get engage more in YouTube, uh, please share and talk about me and show me to your friends so I can make more tutorials, I can have more giveaways and I'd actually like to have some kind of live stream as well where you can talk to me. If you have any ideas of what I could do on this YouTube channel, just write it down in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, bye!